Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a how-to video on installing a switch panel from Custom FX Switches in a 2015 to 19 F-150. And this is what the switch panel looks like. It's just gonna go up where the sunglasses holder is and replace the rear mesh panel. And these are the tools that you'll need. Okay, so the first thing I've done is make sure my sunglasses are removed. And we're gonna take this panel and simply pull down. There's four tabs. Okay, and then unplug your switches. Okay, got it removed. So now that we've removed it, go ahead and set it down. And I'm just gonna kind of inspect this routing because we're gonna route across here and then down the A-pillar. So the next step is we'll remove the handle and the plastic for the A-pillar. Gone ahead and removed one of these. The second one is down below here. Just be careful. They're oddly shaped. This is what they look like. So this was on the inside and I first removed the top clip portion and just carefully pull them out. Then Ford instruction manual actually says to discard these and buy new ones. But if you're careful, you can reuse them. So I'm gonna pinch at the top and pull this top edge out and be careful. You don't wanna break it. Slowly pull down and then I'm gonna grab this tab. Carefully try to get it loose and out. There we go. There's two 10 millimeter bolts. So now that we have the 10 millimeter bolts out, we're gonna first undo the top portion by pulling it towards you and then kind of pull up and back. It should come right off. And then unplug your tweeter speaker. Now we have the A pillar removed. This is the airbag. We're gonna avoid routing around that. We're gonna try to get on the other side of the A pillar. And down. Now let's get started on the sunglasses console. First thing we're gonna do is remove this mesh by using these clips on the back side. Be careful with all of these. It's just plastic. Okay, so we got the mesh panel removed. We're gonna actually cut and remove all three of these. So these two center posts and then the H shape. We're gonna cut them clean towards the top. So this is when your razor blade comes in handy. So I'm just gonna try to cut this off flush. Okay, now we have those tabs out. I'm gonna do a test fit before I remove this center section here. So don't forget you wanna actually feed your cable through first. So it looks like I need to actually level these out just a little bit more because it's not quite sitting flush in the front. This is optional, but I'm gonna actually use a Dremel to sand and trim those little pieces that wouldn't quite let it fit. That way I don't overcut it. Mm -hmm. Now we'll try this one more time. Okay, so it looks like we need to take a little bit off on the top side. It looks like that small tab I left is keeping it from sitting in there properly right here. So we'll have to remove that. It's still not quite sitting right. And I looked at the instructions here, and I believe we're actually going to have to notch out a little bit for the switches. Okay, so this next step is to secure the console using the provided hardware. So I've gone ahead and put one bolt through. So just thread them through. These spots lined up perfectly. And then apply your washer, and then locking nut. This nut. It's a kind of an obscure size. 
It is 11.30 seconds and I didn't have a wrench that small, so I'm just gonna use my ratchet here. I'm gonna get it snug, but not too tight. We'll get the other side. Make sure it's sitting in the console how you want it to sit. It sits really well. All right, now let's install it in the cab. Now to help myself feed the wire, I'm actually gonna electrical tape these ends together so that it feeds easier. We're gonna feed these through across ever so carefully. Now we're gonna reconnect the previous connections. Take note of how this power cable is running because you don't want it to be in the way of the clip. So make sure you're clearing your clips and also clearing everything underside the console here. And I left my glasses holder open ever so slightly so I can kind of keep it, keep guiding it as I feed it up. Kind of get it set and then adjust your power cable as needed. Don't want it to interfere with your glasses holder. You also want to make sure that you're clearing your switch if you have a rear slider. Clear your cord slack out. Looks like I'm clearing everything. So I'm going to push it up into the clips. Okay, now it's snapped into place. Double check your cord. I'm gonna give it a little more slack for this. Nice. All right. So you can see the cords are just barely exposed underneath there. Now we will run the cable down the A-pillar, making sure we avoid the airbag here. We don't want to go over this airbag. We want to stay on the glass side. There's actually some additional clips on here that I'm going to try to snap into and utilize. Okay, now we're going to feed down the dash. It looks like if you come in at an angle here between the white insulation and the plastic, you should be able to feed your wire back in. Avoid interfering your speaker cable here. And there is another clip down here low. I'm gonna try to clip into, keep that cable back. Nice. What I ended up doing is there's a, another clip way up in there. I clipped it and kept it out of the way of the emergency brake. I wanna make sure it doesn't get caught behind there. And this conduit here is what we will need to feed it through. And we're gonna, Keep that for the next video. I'm not gonna be running my lighting today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of electrical tape. I'm gonna ravel my cord up so it's out of the way of my parking brake, my pedal and everything else, and store it up there until I'm ready to plug my lighting in. Okay, so the last steps to this video is reinstalling your A-pillar. First, you need to plug in the speaker. And you wanna double check, make sure your cable is retained in the clips and out of the way of the airbag. We do not want to cross over this. Same thing with the speaker cable. We're looking good. I'm gonna line it up. Gotta put these clips lined up in the front. Line up our top clip once we're seated. Should just push right back into place and make sure you're tucked in along the weather stripping on the outside. Reinstall our 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, 
good. We want to snug them up good, but not too tight. Thanks for watching this how-to video. If you would like to get one of these switch panels for yourself, look up custom FX switches with a K in the F-150 forums. I'll also post the information below in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content.